welcome to the Human Broadcheck Podcast. Here we have inspiring stories worth spreading. I am your host, Karina Rosa Feikenberg. You? No, your English is so good. What's your name? Peeps. And Will Peeps. Yes. And I live in the United States like uh, for nine years. Mm -hmm. So I'm right here right now in Guatemala City, but I am right here for just for my family. If no, I will be in Florida having fun in Fort Lauderdale. I love Florida. You love Florida? Yes. There's a very Florida. strong connection between Florida and Guatemala, right? Yeah, it's like the same weather. That's why I really love um, Florida and Guatemala. I like I like the same. For example, what do you do for your living? I am a cop. I'm a cop. I take care of the people. And you are saying again, you are, uh, English is not my native language, so I have to apologize. What are you? You are a. Uh, I am a cop. What is a cop? A, a policeman. policeman. Oh, yes. I'm talking to a policeman. Yes. Wow, I didn't know this. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't know. Uh, no, because we just met in a tienda in a little shop and you yeah, said I true. will accompany you to find the big supermarket. Yeah. So you're a policeman. Yes. You work for a private security company. Yes, that's true. I work for the private uh, company, but uh, doesn't pay too good. So you are not working for the state of Guatemala, you're working no. for a private security company. Yeah. If I may ask, how much do you earn a day? I'm, I make like uh, 100 cues, so that's not too good because uh, I have to spend a lot of money on food and rent and all that stuff. So probably um, I am right here because I have to see my, my mother is sick and my father is right here. And so that's why I have to keep uh, myself right here in Guatemala City. But when my father is not here and my mother is not more, probably they go to the heaven. So I go back to Florida, definitely. When you say Florida, your whole face is smiling. Uh, like yeah. the sun going up in the morning. Yeah, I have a lot of memories, good memories about Florida. I really love right there. And actually, it's a, really, a lot of good people right there, right there too. When I was working in construction or painting or gardening, they give me food because they know I am working for another country. I explained my situation and they was a really good people with me. So you made good experience there. Yeah, I love Florida. So if you say you make like 100 guitars here, which is around 12 US dollar a day, how much money could you make with the same work in the US? Uh, for example, in the United States, I make like a 100 dollars, but Uh, the money right there is the economy is better so you ca I can buy more stuff than I buy right here for 100 cues almost I don't buy nothing it's a very expensive place where we right now in you said it's also depending which part of Guatemala you are right you said yeah. like there are other parts where it's cheaper to live yeah it depends too because if actually if you go to the hotels or the buildings you have to pay more money but if you find a friend and you ask for your friend and tell oh, I need a cheaper apartment somebody that is from here from Guatemala City he can find a cheap apartment and cheap stuff too what would you think is needed to change the situation for Guatemala you said before you love Guatemala but you would nonetheless prefer to live in the USA where would you start would you be the president of Guatemala what would you change um, What I change is corruption. Right here in Guatemala is a lot of corruption. It's a lot of, lot of children at the street trying to find a food. A lot of people with no work. A lot of people is poor because they don't, they don't go to the school. They are like on the streets. And actually it's a lot of bad people too because the only mother One mother is a father and a mother because the guys from here only make children, don't take care of the children. So the woman has to take care of the children and that's why uh, the gangster get the children and start to teach to thief, start to teach to kill, start to teach a lot of stuff. So that's why. That's the reason uh, right here the economy is so bad because a lot of children don't go to the school. Actually, 
only the rich people go to the best schools and when they grow up that is the time that learning they know a lot of language so it's a lot of advance against to the other people the poor people only they know spanish that's why the schools teach them so they know how the, the same opportunity do you trust the government here in guatemala no way the government right here in guatemala sucks steal the money from every stuff they do for example they make like a, they make a project and probably they expend like a 100,000 cubes and so they put like a five millions at the so they, at the they fill their own pockets that's true so they always got the money I they, they don't seem care about the poor people like the children at the streets like the other people are in for example in at the streets uh, they don't care about if they food if they are hungry if they got uh, something to drink if they sleep on the streets they don't care right now we are in a very well situated area it's dark and we are walking on the streets right normally it's a bit dangerous to do this in guatemala city so this area where we are in is a very privileged area how do you feel about those that are privileged because you are working as a security guard here yes. right in this that's area true, that's true. so how do you feel when someone enters with a big car fancy iPhone, newest clothes. Do you have, what do you, what is going through your mind and through your heart in those moments? I mean, like a cop, I don't trust nobody. So I always have to be careful with everybody. And it doesn't mean if, I, if, if the people have a good car and good stuff, probably they make money the right way, but probably not. So. I have to be really careful every day. Um, I am praying to God always. God, I know, always take care of me. He take care of me in Mexico. He take care of me in the United States. And he take care of me right here in Guatemala City. Because it's the same God. I trust God with all my life. And it doesn't matter. I do all that kind, different kind of jobs. And always do my best. No matter what, what kind of job, I feel like... Even though if the companies don't doesn't pay good, I have to do my best because I'm a Christian. So I feel myself like I am working for God. What if God is not existing? Um, I mean, if God is not existing, probably somebody thinks like that. Is God always leave a lot of stuff to 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 have my attention? For example, the beautiful flowers. It had to be a creator. It had to be him. Because nobody can do the beautiful flowers. No matter what artist you are, you try your best and no way you can do it. So it's only uh, flowers. For example, the beautiful animals, the dogs, a different kind of uh, sizes, shapes and stuff. And Actually, the creation, the sea, the rivers, always the birds in the morning, I always listen singing right here. In every place where I go, in Pennsylvania, in Florida, right here in Guatemala City, I want the same bird singing so beautiful, so beautiful, and sing all the kind of different, different songs. And I listen, he's actually praying to God because he no work, he no do nothing and he always is alive and no matter what in his place it is. How many hours a day, how many hours a week are you working? For example, right now I'm working like uh, 48 hours, 48 hours straight and day and night for to have a really bad salary. So you work 48 hours? 48 hours. That's You're true. not sleeping in that time? No. No. I'm trying my best to not sleep because if I sleep, probably the supervisors get there and probably it does count me like a three days of work. So I know how can can't you, sleep. How can you stay awake 48 hours? I drink coffee and I pray to God for the strength. That's the way it is. Do you have paid vacation? No. 
In this company, no. Do you have social security? Is there anything coming with your salary? Like if you have now a mental issue, are you protected insurance wise? No, no. For example, if something happened to me, uh, I have to pay with my own money. Do you have managed in your life, and I assume it's not easy, <laughs> could you put some money aside so in case something really bad happened, you can reach out and use this money? I'm trying my best, but I don't can because I have to take care of my mother because my mother is sick, so I have to give to her money. And I have to give money to my wife and actually money for the run too. So, and pay light, paying bills and no way i try my best but i don't can do it what is the leisure you allow yourself what is the pleasure you allow yourself from time to time um i mean what i really love like i said before is when i do my work i don't think i don't think the bad stuff i just think god will take care of me and god will help me that's what i do how old are you I'm 28. Kids? No, yet. But married? Yes. Still together? Yes. Is your wife working as well? Yeah, she do the best. Uh, trying to make some money too. She sells food for a living. And she, probably she's doing not too much money, but uh, she helped me a little bit. What's your biggest dream in your life? Probably is uh, my biggest dream is one day to get old and sleep and wake up in the heaven. That's my biggest dream. Wake up with God, with the angels, because I know it's somebody right here around us. They care always. They care always. Uh, The persons, the people, the children, I know it's angels around. I know it's demons too, but in the name of God, all demons go out and don't kind of stay the princess of God. Um, the power of God is so powerful, like nobody can stand against him. Where is this strong religious belief coming from? Mm. God put me in places like I never dream I've been. That way I can understand he loves me. That way I can understand he take care of me. That way I can understand uh, he always with me. For example, uh, I crossed the desert of Mexico. And How did you cross the desert of Mexico? Walking. And, wow. and I have a gallon of water and it broke. It was because you want to reach U.S. You want you were left Guatemala walking on your own to reach the US with yeah with a couple of friends we start to walk and say we're going to be in United States no matter what if we dying we don't care we was like a crazy young guys because we think it like that way How old were you when you did this Like uh, 18 Wow You were not afraid I was not because my thinking was so bad probably um, the only good thing what i did is pray to god and he always take care of me even though in the was crossing the desert and i broke my gallon water and i, I have a friend he he started to tell me oh man i don't count no wall no more i'm gonna leave this gallon of water i tell him no i help you and we drink together the water and he told me yes we do it and that's the way we get to um phoenix arizona were you legally if you don't want to answer i can totally understand was there a chance for you to be legally in the usa it's no way because uh, um the people from the from the united states they always check you if you have money they give you the visa so easy but if you don't have money um they if they uh, if they think like you you are strong and going to work they don't give you the visa no way 
how did you feel? Because at the end you were in the United States and you were afraid maybe because you worked somewhere and maybe there was a cop from the USA, there was a policeman asking for your papers. Were you prepared what to answer? Were you prepared to just run? How did you prepare for that situation? I ran a couple of times and don't, thanks to God the cops don't got me because I was fast. Thanks to God he gave me the strength to run so fast and never got me. And sometimes when I get on the bus, God take care of me because they don't ask for papers. So God was always with me. Even though uh, right there, uh, when you go to the United States, always you have to, to buy papers, false papers. And one time the cops got me with that papers. They put me in jail like a three months for that. So, but thanks to God right there, I always pray to God and God confused the minds, everybody, and they let me go out. When you go back to the U.S., how would you do it? Probably I'm going to walk again. And no matter what will happen, if I want to go, I want to go. And it's no way immigration can stop me, no way from Mexico, because in Mexico you give money, if you have money, they, they let you go. Even though you know, the cops from the United States, they too, they let you go, but you have to have more money. So probably... You mean like you can pay them, you can bribe yes, them, and then you but ask, no stop cheap asking money. for papers? No cheap money. How much do you think you have to give a policeman in the USA to stop asking for papers? For example, one time we was going and... We was going like a 100 people, immigrants, and they had to pay for one hour like $100,000. So, like I say, United States is corruption, but not for cheap money. You have to have a lot of money, right? So that's the way it is. For so what exactly are the benefits for you in the US when you are maybe the last question and don't want to take too much of your time? What is, the, what is the benefit for you? Why do you want to live in the USA? Because it's, um, uh, the economy is better. That's the, one of the things. You are more paid, what you said at the beginning, you can get more products for that, what you earn. Yeah, that's true. For example, for $100, probably I cannot buy a lot of stuff. But right here, for 100 cues, I don't buy nothing. That's the only reason uh, that's one of the only reasons. And actually, I love Florida too. Florida is so beautiful. And actually, what I really know, and for example, we see in the news, all that kind of stuff, like uh, United States is, uh, don't let the drug pass, again, war with the Mexican, but that's freaking lies. Because when I, when I, when I go to uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and when I go to close to Guadalajara, the border was full of drugs, full of drugs, like a big, big places of drugs. I mean, it's no way the cops from the United States don't can see that. <laughs> but they receive some kind of money, a big money. That way they don't see that. So, I mean, in the news, you see all that kind of stuff. But when you are walking there, you see different different stuff like United States is corruption but it's for big money no cheap money and that's the truth I like what you said I think it's a very clear view on those systems none of them is perfect and corruption is everywhere it's just disguising maybe better here it's obvious you can talk even about corruption everybody knows what is meant that's true it's very courageous now what was your name again? I'm sorry, you said it at the beginning, but I didn't even mm. hear and I was, I didn't dare asking again. Your Willie name? Brian Sandoval. So Willie, can I call you Willie? Yes, okay. Willie. Willie, this is very courageous. I was not walking through a desert without water or losing my water and into a future where I don't even know what is going to happen, neither into a future where I knew I do not have, uh, how to say, I'm not welcome, do you know what I mean? And still you are doing this. This is very, very courageous and brave. Yeah, I mean, 
uh, God g always gives us the strength to pass Mexico, to pass uh, United States. If we want to go to Canada, we can go to no matter what, because when we take a decision, we, because we know one, no more, we know one, no more this life right here, is because we know, we know, we know support the governments. We don't want the governments because the governments are so freaking corruption. Like, you see children in the street, you walk the street, you see children uh, at the, on the street begging for money. Why don't do like United States, right? Like take care of the children, uh, take care of these children, take these children at the schools. That way they are better citizens. But no, Guatemala, no. They leave the children at the street, so the gangsters at the street teach bad stuff. So that's what, that's what they learn, bad stuff. Bill, muchas gracias, really. You're was, very welcome. <laughs> it was a very deep look into your life, which I didn't expect it when I asked for a salad. That's true. In the Tientra. That's right? true, that's true. And I really appreciate that you asked whether you could show me where the next supermarket is. Yeah, always, you know, if I, if I can help Americans, I do it because they do that before for me. So I'm so happy with that. Like, uh, if I can do something, I do it, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs>